I heard this noise and I thought, what the hell is that? And the helicopter was about 10 feet above my head. Thought something was wrong with the bike at the start. But I think that was my favorite stage so far. Um, then we went off the road into the, the canyon. The guys were all coming the other way at me. And I thought, oh, they must have missed the waypoint we've just gone through. So I went around a few corners and I thought, we've all gone the wrong way. So I went back and Lyra was coming the other way. So she like looked at me and thought, what are you doing? Same as what I did to others. She turned around and we ended up in this like trial section and she stopped and turned around and I just thought I'd jump off that. So I jumped off it, got back on track. Then I caught the two guys ahead of me in the lot. Sat behind him then and I heard this noise and I thought, what the hell is that? And the helicopter was about 10 feet above my head. Thought something was wrong with the bike at the start. And it was just like that all day with the same sort of guys because I would get past them in a Sony place and I would navigate and then you'd, you're just like looking for your waypoint and the guys behind you would just catch you, pass you while you were navigating and then you get sucked behind them in their dust and then they would do the same thing, they would navigate and then I would just nip up the inside and pass them back so it just did that all day and then I was happy enough at a good pace and that Jan Grabbit, he's an absolute raven lunatic, he's, he's out He's been out twice already, but he keeps restart, and he's an absolute cannonball. We went past us like we were all stopped, and then he disappeared off the wrong way for like a few miles. And then Sherko Jeff, the Indian lad, I've forgotten his name, that's what I call him. He come past, and I've ridden with him quite a bit, and he's a good navigator, and he rides at a good speed. So we did a bit of cat and mouse like that, and then we got to the neutralization which was about 90k from the finish. He, he said to me, it's gonna be really hard navigating now, the last part's meant to be difficult. So basically, I just said to him, right, I won't try and pass you and blow past you. I'll just stay at me 15 seconds behind or whatever, and I'll navigate and you navigate, and we'll just see where we get. And that's what we did, and we were pretty much the same speed all the way back. He was probably like half a minute in front of me. <laughs> He come off about two corners from the end and I went over the finish line together. But just, yeah, just went at a happy pace, um, enjoyed it. And if there's another couple of days like that, then that'll be fine.